Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about another very easy solo gold farm that you can do with any of your level 60 or more characters. This is a raw gold farm, so it means that the item we're after in today's video is something you will then be able to sell at the vendor, and so it doesn't involve the auction house or you trying to sell anything. This is a really simple farm, it should only take you maybe one or two minutes, and this is not the gold farm of the year, but still this is something that is really nice and that can add up a little bit of gold very easily to your inventory. And this is something that can have a really good potential if you have a lot of alts. Basically, for today's gold farm, all you want to do is come here in the Dragon House in Taldrasus next to the Algetar Academy at the coordinate 60.241.6. And just here at this specific area, you will be able to find a treasure called the Elegant Canvas Brush. So all you want to do when you arrive is to pick up this treasure and then you will receive this gray item that is worth 2,112 gold at the vendor. The only requirements in order to pick up this Elegant Canvas Brush is to be level 60 or more, of course, to have access to the Dragon House. And also you cannot do that on a class trial. So this is only something you can do once per character on any of your level 60 or more characters. As you can see, this is really something that should only take you maybe two minutes because the, the location is just next to Valdraken and this is extremely easy to access. And again, if you have a lot of different alts, this is definitely something that is going to be nice because you will be able like that to get 2,112 gold per alt and this is something that you can do in a very short amount of time. For instance, in less than 10 minutes, I was able to get this elegant canvas brush on five of my different characters. And as you can see, in total, this is already more than 10k gold. So this is really nice. And if, for instance, you have 20 owls, it's directly 21,000 gold. If you have 50, it's going to be more than 100,000 gold. So really just make sure to do that on all your different alts. And like that, you will be able to make a little bit of gold. And again, you can directly vendor this item at any vendor and you don't need to sell it on the auction house, which is really nice. Also, for those of you who are not sure whether you already opened that treasure on some of your alts or not, and you just want to make sure before going to this location, what you can do is type that in your chat, play enter, and like that, you will be able to see whether you collected it or not. I will put what exactly you need to enter in the chat in the description. And like that, you can easily just copy paste and see whether you already collected this treasure or not. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with this very simple gold farm. Also, just before I end the video, because I know I'm probably going to have a lot of comments about this mount, for those of you who are curious, as you can see, this is the Ruby Kiraji Resonating Crystal. This is something you can only get during a specific event that happens in January, the Call of the Scarab. This mount is not something you can learn. As you can see, this is something that only lasts for seven days. But what's interesting is that it only lasts for seven days of played time. So for instance, even if it's five months after the end of the event, like it is right now for me, if you haven't played your character a lot, this mount will still be available. And so this is why I'm still able to get it. And as you can see, I still have four days before the mount disappears. So just a quick heads up, and unfortunately, you won't be able to get it before the Call of the Scarab in January. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos, and in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye!